The Indian Air Force chief has said that the Air Force expects that the production rate of the Tejas light combat aircraft will be rapidly ramped up to 16 units per year, once the 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighter contract is signed, which will also be followed by six squadrons of the medium-weight fighter. The Indian Air Force chief also wants the base repair depot of the Indian Air Force to carry out conversion of the first 16 IOC standard Tejas Mark I fighter jets to FOC standard, without relying on Hindustan Aeronautics for the conversion. He also added that the 114mm RCA will significantly benefit indigenous projects by infusing cutting-edge technologies into the domestic industry. After receiving initial responses and detailed discussions with all aircraft manufacturers, the statement of case is under finalization for the procurement. He also said that the Cavalry engine project has not succeeded in delivering a fighter jet engine, and the Air Force is not insisting on this indigenous engine, and the DRDO must find a way of building a suitable fighter jet engine in partnership with a foreign company, as it is the initial path to the success of future fighter jet programs. According to latest media reports, the Indian Air Force is all set to launch the procurement process for six mid-air refuelers, and the draft air staff qualitative requirements have been prepared, and the request for proposal will be floated soon. The Indian Air Force is also looking to bolster its existing UAV fleet with fresh inductions, and various classes of remotely piloted aircraft ranging from small to medium altitude and high altitude long endurance platforms are being considered. The Israeli Aerospace Industries Hindustan Aeronautics and Dynamatic Technologies have already partnered for joint manufacturing of Israeli unmanned aerial vehicles in India. India's Mohindra Defence has unveiled its latest armoured light specialist vehicle built for the military and defence purposes that also offers ballistic protection. The vehicle has been tested against hand grenades and 7.62 by 51 mm rounds and the vehicle has already been put through many survivability tests under Government Defence Forces test programmes for about 18 months. It has a load carrying capacity of 400 kg, and its modular architecture supports mobility in all directions. As per latest media reports, the US has fast-tracked the delivery of the first three MH-60 helicopters to India, and it will be delivered by the end of 2020, instead of the previous schedule of early 2021. Indian Navy's MH-60 helicopters will be based on the existing Royal Saudi Naval Forces baseline model with some modifications, providing anti-surface and anti-submarine capability, as well as secondary missions like replenishment and search and rescue. The Defence Ministry has clarified that the recently announced reform about hiking the foreign direct investment in defence from 49% to 74% will not be applied to the projects that are under strategic partnerships between foreign original equipment manufacturers and Indian companies, like the 114mm RCA fighter jet programme, 111 naval utility helicopters, and six conventional submarines under Project 75I.